Everyone has a wish for Christmas, but there is a girl who is a little more special. Her name is Rustleen and she lives in South Oakland. This Christmas, she wants Santa to bring her better health. Let's have a look at how we can be her Santa and help her this Christmas. Rustleen was born on um, 3rd December 2005. Rustleen is uh, suffering from uh, cerebral palsy and uh, developmental delay which means that um, even though she is four years old but she her mental level is on the on the level of um, uh, six to seven months year child when I was about four months pregnant uh, we met with an accident we were um, on the motorway we were met with an accident it was um, we did went for a scan the very next day, however they weren't able to check anything at that time. They said that the baby is fine. After Rosleen was born, her parents noticed that their precious daughter wasn't developing in the way that other babies normally do. When Rosleen was eight months old, um, she wasn't doing what she was supposed to do. She wasn't sitting on her own. We had to um, put something on the side so that she don't fall and then we then her Plunkett nurse referred her to the GP and they referred to the pediatrician at Counties Manico who actually advised us that she has got cerebral palsy and developmental delay. This is like a brain injury when if a child has a brain injury then usually they suffer from a neurological disorder and cerebral palsy is one of the neurological disorder. She started sitting on her own when she was about two years old. That was when she was sitting on her own. We didn't have to put any blankets or anything on the sides um, to make sure that she doesn't fall. But that was the time when she started sitting on her own. Yeah, if nothing is done, so there are very, very less chances that she would improve. There, would be, there were less chances there would be a significant improvement. Since the diagnosis of her cerebral palsy, Rosleen has required a lot of care. We were um, approached by physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and um, there is a team, in early intervention teachers who come from CCS organization. And um, one teacher comes, like one, one therapist comes once a month, and the physiotherapist will come, so they actually come alternatively, depending, they check their timings and yes, so someone, uh, one of the therapists do come. At this stage, um, there's a treatment called stem cell treatment, in which the stem cells obtained from the umbilical cord blood is injected into the uh, child's body. So those stem cells, they go to those areas which have been affected by uh, injuries and then they um, repair those parts. Yes, they inject stem cells in um, the kid's spine or they will put it via catheter. That's totally after they check the child, that's when they made the, make that decision. In New Zealand, um, they are still researching on stem cells and at this stage they are researching on animals. So still it's quite far from uh, being conducted on humans. We are in talks with China and India, so we still haven't exactly decided yet, but we, we either will take her to China or India. So we are comparing that, uh, the treatment procedure and the cost, so, and then we will decide which is uh, better. Unfortunately, stem cell treatment is a very expensive process. But Rosaline's family have not given up hope and are now fundraising in order to get Rosaline the treatment that she needs. Um, we actually saw quite a few parents who are actually fundraising when you check on internet. Quite a few parents are fundraising for their kids and those kids, some of them, they are very, very worse than even Rosaline. Like Rosaline can actually sit on her own now, but those kids, they just can lie down all day. They can't do anything on her own at all. So those parents are fundraising and that's how we got an idea that that is something we should do. And um, thankful, we are very thankful to the whole community because 
We started from zero when we opened a trust account and within approximately two and a half months, we have raised about 41,000 now. We have another 19,000 to go because our target is 60,000. Uh, we have opened up a trust for Rosleen, which is called Rosleen Treatment Trust. And uh, there's an account number for that in which they can uh, put the money or they can personally contact us regarding Rosleen and about the treatment. Um, we have, don't have an exact date, but we have been given approximately sometime in February we have to take her. So we are sure that in the last two and a half months, if we have been able to raise 41,000, I'm sure the community will, you know, keep helping us and they will come forward to help us with another 19,000 as soon as they can as well. The Punjabi community in Auckland has been especially supportive of Rosleen. A lot. I'm very, very thankful to the Punjabi community. Yeah, we have been to... Um, I used to take Rosleen to, like every Sunday, we used to take her to Takanini Temple, Sikh Temple. Then we took her to, from Takanini Sikh Temple, we were able to raise in just one day about $9,000. And um, we took her to Menuriba Sikh Temple. We took her to um, Kolmar Sikh, um, Shri Dashmesh Darbar, Kolmar Sikh Temple. We have taken, apart from Otahu, we have taken her to all Sikh temples and we have, they, the Sangha, the people who came there, they have helped us a lot on the same day because after um, they announced about Rosleen, we used to put a donation box there and within that donation box everyone used to put money in. So we were able to raise about $2,000, $1,500 in one day from the other temples apart from Takanini. Yeah. It is hoped that the stem cell treatments will give Rosleen a better quality of life and some independence. Every parent has a hope, so that's what we have as well, that Rosleen, after this treatment, if she can at least get a better quality of life and can be on her own, like at this stage, the time she wakes up, the moment she wakes up, we have to guess everything for her. If she's thirsty, she can't tell us. She can't talk. Um, she can only say mama, papa, but then it's not purposefully. She don't know who mama is or who papa is. She will just call anyone mama, papa. And we have to guess whether she's thirsty, whether she's hungry, you know. Um, and a very big problem is with that she's very, very constipated too. So we have to give her... Um, Every day we, she's on medication, lactulose, we have to give about 20 mils every day so that she can push. She doesn't even know how to, you know, she's very, very constipated. So that's another problem which doesn't let her to eat much. So we have to give her frequent meals quite often. Um, we, are, we really want that Rosleen should be on her own. She can do things on her own that she doesn't need, she doesn't require a person. 24-7. So that's what we are hoping for, that after this treatment, she should be able to do the things on her own. We have seen other parents who have been um, for stem cell treatments. They have said that um, there have been a very, like an increase in the appetite of the child, which is obviously good because at this stage, from a very long time, about more than a year or so, she's still 11 kgs and she is not putting on weight at all. Um, so that is something which we are looking for as well, that if her appetite will get better, she will eat more, then she will obviously get more strength in her body and she might be able to, you know, hold the walker and try to walk because at this stage she don't have that um, understanding that if she will not hold onto anything, she's going to fall. So that is something, yes, definitely we are hoping for. If you would like to help Rosaline, then there are a number of ways that you can do so. They can contact me via email, they can give me a ring on my mobile, all our details will be um, coming up on the screen shortly. So they can contact us on any of those numbers if, um, and they can put any money in Rosaline's account. If they are wanting to come and see Rosaline, they are more than welcome to, they can call me, I can that's no problem at all if they want to come in.